Hi, Damien here from Power Diary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make appointments in your calendars. Um, there are three types of appointments you can make. A client appointment, a personal appointment, and a group appointment or a class. To make an appointment, simply select the time that you would like the appointment to be. So we'll select uh, 10 o'clock and we can either select one uh, block or if you want to make a longer appointment, you just select and drag for the length of time that you like. Um, and then over here, it will default to a client appointment. So if you are making a client appointment, um, you can just simply click on that and start typing um, the client's name. So here I will make an appointment for myself. Uh, name pops up and you just click save and the appointment is made. Now, if it happened to be for a new client, um, I'll show you this in more detail in another video, but you can actually just click here to add a new client um, directly. Okay, so let's imagine now we are going to make a personal appointment. So I've clicked the time and I'm just going to click personal and then here we can um, add in the details of that um, personal appointment. So we might say um, that there's a um, school event perhaps that you want to be at uh, and you want to block out that time. So we just click on that. You can add a description or a flag if you like um, and then just click on save and you'll see now we have this um, a personal appointment uh, in the system and you'll also notice that the color bar uh, personal appointments are always this kind of gray color bar to, to begin with um, versus a client appointment which will start with a blue bar meaning that it is pending okay so let's create one more type of appointment so again i'm selecting the time and click on group appointment or class um, so this might be if you are running a class um, perhaps you might call it um, a relaxation um, class and we click uh, save and then what we'll see here is that we can set some different variables so we can actually limit the number of participants that might be able to book into this class um, and then you can also add clients um, to this uh, group or class appointment so again if I was adding in a client I can just start typing away and we'll see clients that match up um, and away we go we can see that person has now been added okay so that's it um, so the three types of appointments uh, very easy to make if you want to reschedule or change the time or length uh, you just select the appointment and you can edit it over here in terms of adjusting the start and finish time but just a quick trick you can actually click and drag the start and finish time directly on the calendar itself um, or you can actually move it to a different day uh, so I'm just going to hover over the colored section of the appointment and you'll see I can actually drag and drop that somewhere else on the calendar which is very handy indeed thank you very much for listening